Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tom Dawson, and I want to talk for a minute today about how vaccines work. I think that the better we understand things, the less we tend to fear them. So in this case, I'm going to use a sports analogy, which I don't love, but it works in this particular case. And we're going to pretend that Dallas Cowboy football players are germs. They used to be kind of dangerous, not so much anymore. Uh, so they make a good example. Um, back in the 1940s, uh, when we first started to make vaccines against Dallas Cowboy football players, we rounded up all the old and injured and broken Dallas Cowboy football players, and we put them in a big syringe, and we pushed those into a few people. And while those people got a little bit ill, uh, they ended up surviving because they were just fighting off these old, broken down, beat up Dallas Cowboy football players, and they were able to survive and end up with immunity and antibodies against Dallas Cowboy footballitis. Well, then in the 1960s, we realized we don't even need the old players at all. We just went through the locker room and we gathered up all the old jerseys and shoulder pads, chin straps, jock straps, shoes, everything, and put those into a smaller syringe. And we pushed those into some people. And then those people made antibodies against the uniforms, which is how you and I recognize Dallas Cowboy football players anyway. And when they had antibodies against uniforms, they could recognize the germs and they were able to protect people against the illnesses. In the 1990s, we realized we could even trick yeast into making tiny, tiny little Dallas Cowboy football helmets. Uh, and they made the helmets. We then put those into a much smaller syringe and we pushed those into some people. And then those people were able to make antibodies against those tiny little Dallas Cowboy football helmets. And so then whenever your body saw those little silver helmets with blue stars on them, they knew that was a Dallas Cowboy football player germ and they had antibodies to protect themselves. Even though those helmets had never been to Dallas, they'd never touched a Dallas Cowboy football player and you couldn't catch anything from those helmets. So that was a huge amount of progress in just about 50 years. Now there's been some talk more recently about mRNA vaccines or messenger RNA. And what that means is now we take that same basic genetic material that we were putting into those yeast to get them to make helmets, and now we put those into a tiny syringe, and we push those little genetic packets of mRNA into your bloodstream. They go find your little factory cells in your body, and then it gets your factory cells to make your own Dallas Cowboy football helmets, which you put in your bloodstream, and your body makes antibodies against them that way. So that's how vaccines work. You can see that you really can't catch a disease from uh, the vaccine, and, uh, and yet you'll still have antibodies to protect you from the illness. So for those of y'all that are still deciding and thinking about vaccines, I hope understanding how they work will help. If you still have some concerns, I'd encourage you to see uh, the other video on vaccinations and why they're important for us. I hope this helped.